Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Ahlan wa sahlan. So today we're going to do the bicha, which is a Tunisian, Algerian type of recipe. It's a vegetable stew basically. And here's the big African continent and it's right around in this area, just off the Atlas Mountains. So we're going to do a recipe from there and I'll also show you how to make a little bit of harissa just to spice things up. Comfort food at its best. Let's check out the kitchen. So today we're going to do the Bicha Arabiya, or a winter vegetable stew. So we're going to use some dried chickpeas, some potatoes, some turnips, and some carrots. Now obviously you can use canned chickpeas if you don't have the dried ones, but I'm going to try and do it as traditional as possible. Now both Tunisia and Algeria lay claim to the dish, and they're both right. Regardless, you need gardens, you need hearty winter foods in those mountainous areas of the country, and it's a really good comfort food. So to start off with, I'm going to soak my chickpeas overnight in some cold water. So the next day, I strain them out, and then I'm going to get ready to cook them. Now I'm using a pressure cooker, and it'll take a few minutes, but you can also put them in a pot of boiling water until the chickpeas are tender. Now there are also summer variations of this dish which use artichoke hearts, fava beans, green peas. The essence of the dish is to have a starchier bean and some vegetables mixed together with some greens. So now I put my chickpeas into the pressure cooker and get them ready to go. In the meanwhile, I peel and chop up all the hearty vegetables that I'm going to be putting in my stew turnips, the potatoes, the carrots, you get the idea. Now the timing of your cooking is very important. Cook your chickpeas while you're prepping your other vegetables and then when it comes time to assemble, it's a snap. It's not uncommon to find the bicha at marriages or family get-togethers. It's a large family-oriented dish that's just good comfort food. So for the sauce, I'm going to dice up half an onion. So notice how I start off by slicing one way, then perpendicular on the other, not all the way through the onion, and then when I do my final pass here, everything's all diced up. next component is to mince up some garlic for our sauce. So here I have two cloves of garlic and I pass them on a wood rasp. Now this gives you a nice fine pureed result. The next step is to heat up some olive oil. We're going to brown our onions a bit, then we add our garlic. Now make sure to stir this up and watch your garlic. You don't want it to burn or else that'll turn everything bitter. So just stir everything up in the hot oil and then we're going to get a couple of tomatoes, we're going to buzz it in a blender, and we're going to add that, and this is the base for our sauce. So once our tomatoes have cooked out a bit, we're going to add all the chopped up turnips, potatoes, and carrots into our stew pot. We're going to cover this up, we're going to lower the heat, and we're going to let it go for 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, we're going to lift the lid open, and we're going to add our cooked chickpeas that we've strained off into the stew pot. We'll cover it up again and we're going to let it go for another 10 to 20 minutes. So after we let our chickpeas cook out, we're going to lift the lid and we're going to add the greens. You could add mustard greens, you could add spinach, you could add Swiss chard, fresh or frozen. If you're using fresh, do it at the absolute last possible minute. If you're using frozen, add it in a bit earlier and let it thaw out in the stew. Now it's also not uncommon to have a soupier consistency. Some regions in Algeria do this. So just add a bit more soup stock or something liquid to the dish in order to stretch it a bit. Either way, you want a tasty vegetable dish at the end. So here, I'm going to add some frozen spinach, mix it in there, and let it cook out for a bit while I prepare the harissa. A bit
basic harissa paste. Two ounces of dried chilies. Add boiling water, let it steep for 15 minutes. Add the following. Put it in a food processor with some olive oil until you get this consistency. And that's pretty much it. Add a bit at a time to your stew to bump up the heat. Just be careful, use it sparingly. Now this is also really good with eggs, and in sandwiches, whatever you like. And for our tabicha, some nice rice, put your stew over it, and you have good comfort food. Share, like, and subscribe, and I hope to hear from all of you soon.